Indeed. Look at Shadow. She's now trying to get her disobedient child to come to where she is. So she's busy call contact calling. And I can't see where the little one is at this stage. It was last on that termite mound. But there we go. Little chuffing sounds. And if that doesn't listen to the chuffing sounds, then you'll find she'll start to vocalize more. There we go. Hopefully that little one will come bounding out and towards her. But she's come back quite a long way from where she was when we last saw her. Back towards that termite mound where she left the cub. And now she's calling quite heavily for it. She even made a big territorial kind of call just now. And then since then there's been lots of chuffing and lots of little small vocalizers, vocalizations, should I say, to try and get the cub to come back to where she is. So nice to actually listen to her doing it. Now let's hope she'll do it again. There we go. Now for us that is very, very soft. But for that little cub she'll hear it. And she'll then know that's mom calling. And come bounding down towards her. So... She just has to keep going for a little bit and the cub will eventually arrive. But Shadow, you are looking beautiful, my girl. There we go. Look in front. Look in front, Seb. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that amazing, guys? How sweet is that? Isn't that amazing? Oh, that is the sweetest moment. Adele, you're asking if the cub has any specific markings to identify it. Well, Adele, I don't know. I have, honestly have not seen this cub enough to know. This is only the second time that I've actually seen it and spent time with it. Well, in fact, sorry, I've seen it three times, but this is only the sort of second time that I've actually spent a decent amount of time with the cub. But we can see there that it's a 3-3 spot pattern, so three on the top right and then three on the left. And well, from today, I would hope that the amount of sort of visuals we've had would mean that we will be able to form a nice ID kit on this little individual. And look, it's got mom's tail between its paws. Isn't that cute? That's amazing. Very, very cool sighting of these two. Now, hopefully Shadow's going to lie down right there and we'll get the two of them just having a morning break. It's now the time that you would want to take an illegal photo if there was ever a time. So maybe we should try and just do one quickly. What do you think, Seb? Uh, fully agree with you. Fully this agree. Is too it's much about us. To too much cuteness not to. Mm. I agree, Seb. Oh. Nope. You see, they heard that I was going to take an illegal photo, and that's why they then disappeared off before I could get it. Oh well. It's okay. It's the way things go. Oopsie. <laughs> is mom not happy now? Maybe that's what happens when you ignore mom for so long. You get a little a bit of a shouting at. You see the tail's going. She's not happy. She knows that the cub is here, but she's not happy that the cub came to try and swat at her. And so she got a little bit of a hiding back. And mom's probably got a bit of pent-up frustration from having to call her for so long. And that's why we ended up with that little situation that we got now. But it does look like Shadow's going to lie down, which hopefully means the cub will come closer as well. And we'll be having a sort of moment of peace this morning and a little bit more stationary sighting because it's been a morning of just walking all morning long. Yes, we're talking about you. Are you cross with your child. But Shadow has been an absolute champion today in that she hasn't been in any way aggressive with us. She often gets this bad reputation that she can be sometimes a little bit on the aggressive side and she'll growl and hiss at people and... It just shows you if you give her a bit of space and you let her do her thing that she's actually such a beautiful relaxed individual and never actually had too many problems with Shadow. I've had once where she growled at us and it was just because we came around the corner and she was coming the opposite direction and we kind of got a bit close to her but other than that she's always been a, quite a relaxed leopard not like her sister. Tandy gets to be a little bit more growly than what Shadow is and so she's been an absolute treat this morning. She's really given us a quality show and I hope all of you have enjoyed it. 
as much as I have. And maybe it's time for a one-word tweet as to how you've enjoyed this sighting or what this sighting has brought to you in terms of feelings or emotions or anything like that because I think it's probably one of the longest sightings we've had of this little cub in the time that it's been alive. So one word tweet hashtag Safari Live as to how this sighting makes you feel. Seb, what about you? Uh, epic. Epic. That was one that I would have gone with as well. Mm. It has been an epic sighting, that's for sure. It's been an epic morning, a beautiful sunrise and lots of sort of hope and then the disappointment of the tracks looking like they were going into Arethusa and then coming back again and finding the two of them and watching them play and move around definitely has been very, very epic indeed. Now, I think the little cub got the message and has not come back since then. I'm sure it's just lying off to the right-hand side in the long grass here. And Shadow looks as though she's definitely going to start having a nap now. I'm not surprised. The sun is getting quite high. It's starting to get a little bit warmer. And being given that they did have a meal last night, I would imagine they're both quite full. And so it would be a perfect place just to find some shade and now rest. This is the area that Shadow just loves. She's always around this section. And why she's notoriously difficult to find in this area is, as we've seen with her following her, is that she likes to zigzag and she often just crosses straight over roads. So when you're driving along, generally when we try and look for tracks while we're driving, we'll try and spot footprints that move almost linear with us and so go in front of us. But sometimes they just cross over and that's when we miss them quite easily, like I did on the power lines. Roshni, you say joy for your one word tweet. Well, I think that's a perfect way to describe our situation that we've had. It has been a joyous occasion to follow these two around. And the little cub in particular seems as though it's been full of beans this morning and full of joy jumping around and playing. Although it did just get a little hiding now and a little talking too. So maybe it's now knows that it's time to go and sit in the corner and take it a little bit easy and stop being full of nonsense. So maybe its joy is not so full at this stage. Shannon. You have three words for your one-word tweet, and you say overload of cuteness. Well, indeed, that little one has been as cute as you could imagine this morning. It literally has been bouncing all over the place. It's been running, it's been jumping, it's been playing, and it really has been amazing to see how much it's progressed in terms of its sort of relaxedness with the vehicles. The last time I saw this little cub, it was scampering away from every vehicle that it saw, and it was really quite nervous, whereas this morning it's been very playful, very brazen. You could see it came right out. No more than I would say 10 meters from the front of the car and was lying down and watching us and really didn't matter too much so it definitely has become a lot more confident and that means that we've been allowed to see these amazing views of this little one playing around and it certainly has been very cute. But I definitely think this is it for the day I think this is where they're going to lie down and take it easy. So Courtney, you asking whether or not Shadow misses the sight or smell of her mother Karula? Most definitely not. So she will not miss it in any way whatsoever because once she was kicked out by Karula, Karula became a competition to her. So she became a female that would compete for mating rights, compete for territory, compete for food resources. And <clears throat> the interactions between them then became a lot more aggressive. There was no love between them. There was no sort of, you know, you're my mom, so I'm going to come and cuddle up to you every time I see you. That doesn't happen in a leopard's world. Once they separate and break that bond, that bond is separated. They no longer see each other as mom and daughter, but more as competition. And so, no, she doesn't miss the fact that Karula's around or not around anymore or not sent marking. She will go and she's actually going to take advantage of the fact that she's not smelling Karula and probably be quite happy of the fact that she can then take more territory. So for her, it's not missing Karula at all. She won't really be too much, well, too phased by it. Not like Shongile that will definitely be missing Karula's presence because of the fact that she's a much younger leopard. Now, little Shadow and Cub are still taking it very easy. And so I want to see if the little Cub will come out and we're gonna spend probably a little bit longer with them. And while we do that, let's go all the way back to Scotty Dyson and see how he's faring in the fair far east.